Hello and welcome to our first introduction of the new shoot em up construction kit game. The first thing I do is I load a project because that shortens the video a bit. Okay fine. Now we go into the sprite editor where we can edit the sprites. Sprites are well. Uh, objects that move in your game and uh, I'm trying to draw a little enemy like well this here okay adding a head and no well, something like that Color is a bit aggressive. Try to fill it with orange. Okay, some feet. Okay, and an eye. Oh, face is a bit too small. things up there. Now a bit of an spotlight effect. Too much. Now I press the copy button, choose a new image and paste the current image. And now I can uh, change the feed. As you can see, the first color is the transparent um, sprites, and background objects do have transparent uh, pixels. Okay, I'm just editing the walking animation now. I can use the back and forth button as a preview to see if the animation looks a bit like what I would expect. Mm -hmm. Okay, that looks pretty much like... I, mean, I copied this image then. Uh, no. Wait, uh, paste it and flip it vertically, move it a bit to the bottom. We have to cut the upper pixels maybe. And uh, we're doing an animation when the bug is uh, dying. Enemy dead animation. Okay. And make a copy, paste it. Not just some animation so it doesn't look too boring when it's dying. No, something like that. And okay. Maybe the eye a bit. Oh. Quickly save the progress and uh, create a new enemy. Find an empty slot, yeah, like this. And I'm doing a two way animation sequence. A bit faster, where you can see how it moves in the preview button. And you can copy the whole animation sheet to the shoot and the die. And when it's dying, we need another image. Yeah, looks pretty. So it needs a bullet too. That is no animation, just one frame. Uh, a shot. And done. Okay, we're going to the level editor, which is uh, the 
map editor basically you have a background and a foreground only the foreground does the collision background is static okay i add a platform here where you want the enemy to move later you can also drag and drop picker blocks and i'm going to the wave edit mode i pick a new wave the last button makes a new white wave and uh, I want a detail, it is our bug animation, yeah, no boss, but it's repeating the pass, it does fire, okay, uh, at the left side, and yes, this enemy can be shot, um, it does, you, you die on this enemy and you can jump on its back to kill it. Now, I had a spawn position, that is a point where you see the enemy or trigger it and then three points left, right, left and it's uh, repeating this animation. So after we're done with just testing the game, I want a cheat mode, yeah, unlimited lives. And I can run, I can head back these boxes, I can jump on these enemies and all right, that is a shot. The enemy is walking left and right, as you can see, and we can also uh, try to shoot it. Yeah, it's pretty much dying. That's very cool. Just want to show you the player's menu. We can set the number of lives. If the players can shoot each other, bullet behavior, walking speed, and jumping height, and something like that. And also the output window where you can specify the viewport of the final game and if the window is too big or too small it will be scaled into that uh, thing you can target different platforms. Okay and the next thing is a hello message that is displayed at the start of the game and there is a sounds menu where you can select the sound see if it exists and you can record a new sound from your microphone it's recording stop okay you see the slot one if i select it again exists now okay it's played <coughs> and uh, we go to the animations pick something like shoot or die or forever or whatever and you can select the sound okay and from now on the shooting will have a sound Shoot'em Construction Kit is a free program for Windows, Macintosh and Linux PCs. Thank you for watching.